We will open the floor up now. Is there anybody here who would like to uh, speak on behalf of Newt Gingrich? Former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. Anybody here at this time for Mr. Gingrich? We will now ask if there's anybody here this evening who would like to speak for John Huntsman. Mr. Huntsman. We will now ask this evening if there are those here uh, willing to speak for Congressman Ron Paul. We have some uh, people here that are going to speak for Congressman Paul. I recognize the gentleman from Trainer and his colleagues. Good evening, everyone. My name is Gerard, and I, along with my colleagues, are here to lend our support uh, for Representative Dr. Paul. In Dr. Paul's 12 terms in the United States Congress, he has never voted to raise taxes. He has always supported Second Amendment rights and never voted for an increase in congressional salary. He also never voted for bailouts, nor did he vote for Obamacare. Representative Paul has consistently favored uh, the protection of our currency of the United States by opposing the intersection of the Federal Reserve, which is hurting the value of our dollar through its artificial manipulation of the money supply and the interest rates, luring our economy into a false sense of security. Ron Paul is a man who has always opposed the failed Keynesian economic philosophy and advocated capitalist free market economics outlined by the Austrian school long ago. Representative Paul has endlessly voted to protect us from the government interfering in the lives of private citizens um, such as internet regulation, along with the unjustified government regulations that are today crippling small businesses. Representative Paul's economic plan would cut $1 trillion in his first year of office and cut wasteful government spending, as well as the overextended federal workforce putting a stranglehold on our tax dollars. Representative Paul has always opposed unsustainable entitlement programs and even spoke of a realistic opt-out option for Social Security. Although hounded often for his foreign policy, may, many forget that Representative Paul has served honorably in our nation's military and has much support from both veterans and active duty servicemen. Representative Paul has inspired me at a young age to go out and make a difference, and I hope that he will inspire many others to do the same. Thank you for your time, and God bless. Good evening. My name is Brandon Thomas, and I'm a grain merchandiser, and I uh, prepared a speech tonight, but I think I'm just going to shoot from the hip. I uh, agree with the previous speaker who came up and talked about Michelle Bachman. Um, I do. I hope that all the candidates could come out and uh, you know, beat Obama, but I'm not that optimistic. Um, I think he has a lot of tricks up his sleeve and uh, a lot of media support out there, and you know, we're still in a, a television age, and they can you know, influence a lot of people who don't pay attention. I think the key, really, to uh, beating Obama is having a consistent constitutional conservative who has a record, a 30-year record, like Dr. Paul, of um, you know, being consistent and saying what he believes and, and, and you know, his actions kind of follow what he says and um, I think he's probably the only one who really has the apparatus and the campaign and support to go out here and get the nomination the, the win the general election to not only get the support of all the Republicans but also to get the much needed support of independents and Democrats and you know the Republican Party used to be the party of the big tent so I think we need to have open arms and try to get some of these people who might be misguided um, by you know the education system out there today and um, the, you know, unions and the media who want to espouse all these liberal ideas and, you know, bring them back into our tent. So I think he's a really good spokesman to doing that. Um, he's pro-life. He was an um, OBGYN by trade, um, delivered 4,000 babies over the course of his career and uh, protects life and protects liberty and protects uh, individual freedom. So that's why I'm supporting Ron Paul and I hope you do too tonight. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Spurgeon, and I, I just wanted to thank John for allowing uh, you know all three of us to speak. We really do appreciate being able to take part in the democratic process, and a thanks to Glenn as well. Uh, he's had a lot of studies of the Constitution, and it has uh, you know helped me a lot 
uh, personally and uh, my understanding of it as well. So, uh, and thanks to everyone for, for coming out. I'm not going to shoot from the hip because I don't think anybody here really wants to hear that. Uh, so I'll just get right down to what I have written down. Um, but thanks to other speakers as well. Uh, so the eyes of the nation are now focused on Iowa as they look for some guidance in the presidential election. And as everyone here I'm sure can agree, this election is very crucial in determining the future path of our country. We truly do live in historic times and we are now at a crossroads and it has a lot to do with the fact that our country has been kicking the can down the road for far too long. We are quickly approaching a point where if we don't deal with our financial realities, then it will destroy us. Our debt is currently at $15 trillion, which is equal to our GDP. And this probably doesn't mean a lot you know, to uh, most of us, but many economists point to this as the point of no return. This is the moment where if we continue down this path, it becomes unsustainable. So four more years is not acceptable. It will be too late. If we go on for four more years, we can look at Greece, and that's, that's the reality that we will face. Ron Paul distinguishes himself from the rest of the candidates because he fully understands this reality. It is the depth of Dr. Paul's insights that has guided his voting in Congress. And Ron Paul has earned the nickname of Dr. No for his willingness to vote all alone against bills that assume authorities not granted to the federal government in the U.S. Constitution. Ron Paul got into politics in the early 1970s because he believed in the early 1970s when they delinked our currency from the gold standard that that would usher in an era of big government and big spending. Ron Paul was right. Since that time he has been advocating for limited government and financial sanity. In 1976 Paul was one of four congressmen who stood up and endorsed Ronald Reagan, another staunch conservative firebrand while the establishment Republicans were supporting Gerald Ford. In 2002, five years before the housing collapse, Ron Paul introduced legislation to avert it. He predicted the housing bubble to a T. He also predicted the dot-com bubble. He also predicted the collapse of 2008 because he understands the mechanisms which cause it. No other candidate has had this foresight into the economic consequences of our government's actions. And that is what has led him to never vote for a tax increase never vote for an unbalanced budget, and he has opposed every bailout every time. And this is why he is named the taxpayer's best friend by the American Taxpayers Association. Now I could sit here all day long raving on and on about Paul's record, but unfortunately time and you guys probably don't want me to. But I would, it would be an unjust, injustice if I didn't mention one last issue, and that is Dr. Paul's belief in life. Dr. Paul understands that in order to protect liberty, you must first protect life. Dr. Paul takes a staunch pro-life stance and believes in the repeal of Roe v. Wade. His chosen profession is bringing new life into this world, and he has delivered over 4,000 babies and has five children and 17 grandchildren of his own. In closing, I would like to point out that Ron Paul does not take these stances because of political convenience or special interest pressures. He has stood strong on this, these issues because he knows that this is what is best for the American people. You see, it isn't about electing some all-powerful, all-knowing leader with perfect hair and a strong jawline. It is not a person that we need, it's the rule of law, it's the Constitution, and Dr. Paul stands with the Constitution every time. Now I encourage you to stand with Dr. Paul and stand with the Constitution. Please vote Ron Paul and thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Would now uh, call for any spokespeople for Rick Perry. Anyone here who would like to speak for Rick Perry? Perry. Mr. Perry.